right, guys, Olympic Taekwondo guy versus karate kickboxer. It's very obvious who's Taekwondo, right? Oh, nice combo by Taekwondo. And look at that double kick. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Falls over like Olympic Taekwondo guys do a lot. But, oh, nice spin kick. Again, falls over, pays for that. Um, I'll tell you guys more about the ring. Oh, that was a great angle. Wow, this Taekwondo guy, if he didn't fall over so much, he's got really good angles. Look, never mind. But, yeah, um, he at least knows how to punch, right, which a lot of Olympic Taekwondo people don't know how to punch. Look at that. See, he keeps throwing these kicks at the wrong range, man, but he's got a lot of gas in his tank, which is good. He almost slipped right there. He needs to run circles around. So, Rakan Saba, I believe, also is an actor. I was looking him up. I was doing research on all these guys. And uh, Rakan definitely... Ooh, he got dropped a little bit by that punch. So I just took the headphones out of my um, ears because it was distracting my commentary. But, again, Tyrone Robinson versus Rakan. Um, Tyrone's nickname is Tiger. <laughs> so, oh, you can tell him. He's got the red... On his pants. You see, that's how you know he's right corner. There we go. I was like, how are they? Because their gloves don't have the colors, right? Does Rakan have blue on his pants? Yeah, they do. There we go. That's how you tell. So, unfortunately, the Taekwondo person has slowed down a little. Oh, he was trying for a double kick again. So, if I were Rakan, I would just be like, I'll just jam you. And I think Rakan's figured it out, right? Every time I see you telegraph a kick, I'm going to jam you. Ooh. Got his leg caught. Got punched in the face. Oh. It's a pretty cool little um, pit setup right here. Here we go. All right. Nice. Nice. Dude, this point fighting thing that our Olympic Taekwondo person has, man, totally not in his favor anymore. Like, it was cool. He landed one or two cool kicks, but, and then he has some cops. Whoa, he got him. He got him. Wow. Okay. Well, it worked. It worked for him. That point fighter kind of mentality. If, if you're accurate enough, right, the whole match he was going for accuracy over combos or anything. But you see this? This would not fly in a real fight, just falling over 600 times. I'm exaggerating, guy. Yeah, this would have changed a lot if there were more time on the ground. Oh, trying to trip. So the organizer told me that, shout out Stu, he said that um, in this first, wow, he just got hooked. Oh, he got double kicked. Oh, okay. I mean, I worked. I kind of worked. The, the point fight, he worked. I mean, he would have lost on the ground. But again, you know, like I was going to say about the rules, no elbows, no knees. And no kicks to the legs. Those were the those were the three rules. Now they probably will add leg kicks in future iterations of this, right? It was kind of a low blow, a little bit. But man, it's a little sharp little hook that got him. And then we gotta look at that last part. I see the issue with the karate kickboxer is that he had his hands down. You see that? And then he got double kicked, man. Watch the karate kickboxer Rakan here. So, see, his hands were down. And then watch this. A crazy double kick, man. Got him. Taekwondo person ITF this time in the red corner. Molin and Joe Brooks, the guy charging him right now. Karate kickboxer. Not the worst idea, right? He overwhelm him. Especially knowing that Taekwondo people... Oh, he just spun kick him. Spun kick him. Ha. <laughs> knowing that Taekwondo people probably aren't very good in the close range, right? The pocket. Whereas this karate kickboxer... Probably has had more experience with punches. So, this is going to be a battle of ranges, a battle of explosiveness. Oh, man. Karate Kickboxer is dominating right now. Ooh, even got him. Got him. All right. Hands are down, though. Karate Tikka's hands are down. Don't get cocky. Your hands are down. What are you doing? Oh, the Taekwondo guy. Look at it. He's got like a Taekwondo Philly shell. Dude. The kicks are flying all over, man. You don't see this in standard kickboxing. Oh, thank goodness Taekwondo person's left hand was there. That kick would have hit his face. Dude, Karate Guy's dominating. Yeah, 
the kicking at the legs would really help. So again, this was not in the rules in this first iteration. Oh, he tried to he tried to bounce from the the elevated portion. Nice punches from Taekwondo person. Almost ate a roundhouse kick upon the exit. Wow, Taekwondo person's like, I've never had a tournament like this before. Nice, there we go. Keep them at bay, right? Get them to think twice about lingering in any sort of range. So, yeah. I don't think Taekwondo guy has had enough experience putting his punches and kicks together into correct combos. That's his issue right now. See, he's he's landing occasional strikes, but I haven't seen him throw any combos that involve kicks and punches, right? And in a tournament like this, you got, oh, I, that punch got him. And then he also ate a roundhouse kick. And then another roundhouse kick. Look at that. that ooh, a little, bit of, a little bit of smack talk right there. Okay, guys, round two. Let's see if Taekwondo guy has adapted. Dude, his stance is too wide, man. Dude, Karateka is completely, completely dominating this one. So crazy. The previous one. Nice spin kick. I guess you could call it a turning, turning push kick. But yeah, um, the previous match, the Taekwondo person was dominating. But in this one, the Karateka is dominating. Oh, nice job. Wow. Shout out again. Oh, Dude, there was almost a... Was that a scorpion kick? Wait, wait, sorry. I got to see that again. Let's slow that down. I'm pretty sure that was almost like a scorpion kick. So, yeah, he did a scorpion kick, bro. Oh, the Karateka did a scorpion kick. Here we go. Dude, if someone threw a scorpion kick at me, I'd be like, look, I'll, I'll trade two more months. I'll fight you again. <laughs> Wow, look at, dude, that push kick landing. Come on, Taekwondo guy, you gotta have a follow-up. Oh, no, ouch, ouch, yeah, I knew, I knew he was going down, ow, ooh. Ooh, man, ow, ooh, 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 ow, ooh. This Joe Brooks guy, we gotta find more fights from him. This guy was awesome. Go to SFX Championships, not only subscribe to them, but watch these videos in its entirety and tell them Fight Commentary Breakdown sent you. There's a lot more to come, a lot more to come. I'm pretty sure in the next tournament, they're going to open it up to leg kicks. I don't know about elbows and knees. They're going to play around with the ring also. I'm not going to reveal to you guys what they're going to do with the ring, but they're going to change the layout of the ring. There's a lot more to come. So anyways, shout out Stu. Let us know what styles do you want to see represented in the next tournament because they are very open to styles. And I got a bunch of UK viewers who do some cool styles. So I will not hesitate to recommend any UK viewers who want to potentially show off your style in the tournament. So a lot more to come in. Fight Commentary Breakdowns is going to collaborate with them. I know they're going to get really big. Talk to you guys soon.